let's give credit where it's due here. And, and that's on Jared Goff. I saw Jared Goff's first Thursday night performance of his career with my own two eyes in Seattle, Washington. It was the night that uh, John Fossil was the interim coach because Jeff Fisher had been bounced days before. And Goff that night looked totally lost. The whole team did, obviously, because they fired their coach. The whole organization was wondering what in the hell was going on. They had just moved to Los Angeles. Fisher was, if you recall, a couple of weeks before, uh, fishing for his red challenge flag in New England. Remember that moment where he was kind of looking I do. like he was I do. totally dazed? He was like one of those guys looking for their car keys or walking down the street looking like they hadn't slept in two days. And the fact that that week 15 night, I think it was, that quarterback and that franchise, same situation. Now, Thursday night, week four, less than two years later, looking like that. Gurley is there, both situations. As you remember, Gurley was talking about a high school offense at the time. You know, Robert Woods was in uniform that night. Cooper Cup was still in college. Brandon Cooks was a New Orleans Saint. That team, the fact that we're seeing the Rams look like what they looked like last night and Jared Goff dropping dimes, throwing lasers into tight windows, he is remarkable. And it's time to start talking about Jared Goff as the MVP of the National Football League. It really is. Now, when you've got a kid like Gurley, who since he's been drafted out of Georgia in 2015, no running back has more rushing yards or rushing touchdowns than number 30 in the Rams. And then you've got McVay at age 32, your reigning National Football League Coach of the Year, dialing it up. Dialing it up, sometimes giving Goff two plays at a time in his headset. So Goff is kind of making some calls at the line of scrimmage. It's a lot of it is McVay. But Goff, when it's all said and done, needs to pull the trigger and make the right moves. And when they're schemed wide open by this genius in McVay, make the throws. And Goff is doing that. Terrific. This kid is something else. And guess what? Goff is younger now than Wentz was the day he was drafted by the Eagles. Think about that. Goff now, with all of this under his belt now, younger than when Wentz was drafted by the Eagles. If you remember, you know, Wentz was a grown-ass man coming out of the great state of North Dakota. It's really... Sky's the limit. And we do have to give credit to where it's due. Les Snead and that Rams organization, when they took Goff over Wentz, a lot of people were like, what? Huh? If Wentz was playing like Goff is playing now, he'd be the, he'd be the bona fide MVP. There is, as you know, a bias against West Coast teams. I'm buying into it. There is. There is. Goff's like Bambi out here, all right? And when you've got McVay and Goff dialing it up right now, it's on par with Sean Payton Breeze. Name me any coach-quarterback combination in the National Football League. It is not stronger than McVay and Goff. We saw it last night. This Vikings defense got absolutely sliced. To pieces. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.